My name is Joseph Tadero, and I'm going to explain how Google handles loads of advertisers and figures out which ads to actually show. So what ads are we actually talking about when we're talking about Google ads and how they're ranked? We're talking about these ads on the right hand side of the Google search results. These right here. Now there are three parties that go into making these ads work. We have the user. The user is by far the most important because they're the ones who need to click on the ads. If you're an advertiser, you care most that the user is happy because a happy user equals money in your pocket. So what makes the user happy? The user needs to see ads that are relevant. They need to not be bothered with ads for things that they don't care about. If they see an ad, they want it to have to do with what they typed into Google because these ads, after all, are mixed in with their Google search results. Number two is the advertiser, which is most likely you if you're watching this video. The advertiser wants to be seen and clicked. The advertiser, the end result that they want is to be clicked on. They want their ad to be clicked on, so you visit their web page. Now, in order to get clicked on, they need to provide good, relevant ads for the user to have any desire to click on them. If your ads are irrelevant or poor, the user is not going to click on them no one makes any money and no one is happy. The third party is Google. It's up to Google to make all of this happen, to provide the best experience for both the user and the advertiser. Now it's up to Google to police the ads and make sure they're actually good to give the user the best experience and it's up to Google to get the advertiser's ad to the user in order to make the advertiser happy. So let's start with understanding bidding. Bidding is a very, very simple thing, and in a perfect world, it would be as simple as just making a bid, and if yours is better than the next guy, you win the auction. But let's take a look here. We've got the bidders. Let's start off simple. Here we have four competing advertisers. So Mr. Blue sets his maximum bid at $4. Miss Pink bids the second highest at $3, so she gets slot number two. Miss Orange bids $2, and Mr. Green only $1. Now in this example, there are only three available ad slots on the page, and there are four advertisers that are battling over these three slots. So Mr. Green actually gets bumped, since he has the lowest bid. If only Google were actually this simple. Google does not care only about how much money you're willing to throw down for a click. That wouldn't be much fun for us smaller businesses with tighter budgets. We'd get beat out by the big guys who have a bunch of money to blow on advertising. But Google also cares about the quality of the ads. This helps Google avoid wasting space and money. If your ad is bad, you're going to take up space, but no one's going to make any money because no one's going to click on the ad. And it provides a better experience for the user who doesn't want their time wasted by lame ads. So let's talk quality. What does quality mean when Google talks about quality ads and how they want quality ads? Google actually scores you 1 through 10 on the quality of your ads. So what is the score actually based on? Three things. The main thing is your click-through rate or CTR. For those of you not familiar with the term, click-through rate is the ratio of people seeing your ad versus people actually clicking on your ad. 100% click-through rate would mean that every single person who saw your ad actually went ahead and clicked on it. Wouldn't that be nice? Unfortunately, a normal click-through rate is only a couple percent or less, usually a fraction of a percent. When people click on your ads, Google actually considers each click a vote that your ad is actually good, thus making your click-through rate hugely important. Your landing page is the second thing that's judged. What does your ad actually link to? What website are you trying to get people to visit? Does that page contain content that matches your ad? Does the page load quickly and properly? Bad websites mean lower quality scores. The third judging factor is a simple one, relevance. The more relevant your ad is to the user's search query, the higher your quality score is. For instance, if someone does a Google search for used car parts, an ad for car parts would be considered much more relevant than an ad for brand new cars. So let's talk about how all of this adds up. We talked about the two variables, max bid, which is how much someone is willing to pay for a click, 
and quality score, which is simply how good your ad is for the user. So how does that all add up? Now we talked max bid, and we talked quality score. And if you multiply the two together, it's actually that simple to get your ad rank. And your ad rank is just a number that determines where you should be placed on the side of Google relative to the other people and their ad rank. So now we've got Mr. Blue, Miss Pink, Miss Orange, and Mr. Green all bidding for three, two, and one dollars, just like in the previous example. But now let's throw quality into the mix. Now Mr. Blue only has a quality score of one. That's very, very, very poor. That brings his ad rank to 4.0 because four dollars, his max bid times his quality score, equals 4.0. Now if Miss Pink has a quality score of three, that's much better quality. What kind of ad rank is she going to have? That's simple multiplication. Her ad rank would be nine. So let's go over the next two, and we have a quality of six and a quality of eight. So now the little guys who are near the bottom with their high quality ads will actually be rising to the top. And Mr. Blue is at the bottom because his ad was very lame and he does not belong at the top of the list. And you know what it means when you're at the bottom? You actually get bumped. There you have it, high roller, poor ad, bumped, and the little gal with a $2 max bid is on the top. Now that we know who wins or loses, how do we know how much each person actually pays? We talked about how much you're willing to pay, we talked about the maximum bid, but we didn't talk about how relative to you beating out the people below you, how much you actually pay. So let's look at this here. We can see that these three people are actually bidding the same amount in this example, the same amount of money this time. They just have varying quality scores. So they all can't possibly pay the same amount when all is said and done because the person who pays the most money actually should win, right? A little more complicated than that, a little bit. This was the hardest thing for me to understand, but the way this is laid out, hopefully it will make a little bit more sense. So. Let's look at these two numbers right here. Now, we talked about calculating ad rank by multiplying max bid times quality, but you can kind of go backwards with that. You can figure out the max bid by seeing how many times the quality goes into the ad rank. So it's sort of like algebra. We're just rearranging things. 6 goes into 24 four times. 8 goes into 32 four times. 3 goes into 12 four times. So we can actually arrive at the max bid. Uh, by putting the quality into the ad rank for each individual in each slot. So, what is the actual bid going to be for Miss Orange? Let's look at just these two numbers real quick. Six goes into 24 how many times? Four dollars. We just talked about that. But, what if we sort of reach from Miss Orange into the pockets of Miss Pink and see how many times Miss Orange's quality goes into the inferior ad rank of Miss Pink. Now the answer to that is actually going to be the actual bid of Miss Orange. So, three dollars. Three dollars is less than four dollars because the higher the quality of the ad below you, the more you're going to have to pay to beat it out. So if we move this formula down and see how many times Miss Pink's six goes into Mr. Green's twelve, they only have to pay two dollars. She only has to pay two dollars. So if we bring in the very, very bottom person, they actually pay the minimum bid determined by Google based on the advertisement, but usually there's someone below you on, on pretty much an infinite scale. We didn't bring in the person who got bumped this time, but if we did, then your answer would have to do with math involving the person that got bumped. So finally, we've figured out that slot number one to, goes to Miss Orange with three dollars and slot number two goes to Miss Pink with two dollars and slot number three comes out with a, a an actual bid, it won't say minimum bid, it'll be an actual bid determined by Google but you can see here that uh, you don't necessarily end up paying your max bid and it will be proportionally scaled to the person above and below you but based on your quality, so if your quality goes up your bid actually goes down. You're able to beat everyone out by quality alone.